I gain a shop as parshas bereishis. We don't have so much time this week. Like we always say, the Chazal set up bereishis not to have too much time for Shnei Mikra, so we don't spend so much time being darshaning and, and learning about what happened before uh, my severatious and all of these higher levels. The Ramban always says that a lot, a lot of his parish and bereishis, which is gigantic, he says often that this is something for for uh, Mikubal and for, for deeper learning, uh, deeper sources. But uh, there's a Maisa, maybe something we could take coming off of Sukkot, coming off of yeah, Mimnerayim and Sukkot and an amazing uh, old Tishrei. And now we're going into the winters now. We just had rain, right? We said, Mash Baruch HaMar HaGeshem, and it's a of rain. Oh, Hashem. And Tzvaz, they used to um, take their laundry out by uh, their their laundry, which was drying outside, they would bring it in when they said, and it's going to rain. But uh, the goal of Yom Neroim is not, you know, just to fill up our tank. The goal is to continue driving. We go to a gas station, not to be at the gas station. It's to be able to continue our journey. So our tank, Baruch Hashem, is very full after these days. And now we want to continue. The question is, where do we go from here? So, the, the, the word is, it's not always they have to go far. Sometimes you have to go deeper. Not always deep when you want to take on a Kabbalah. Not only do you want to add something. Sometimes you want to take something that you have and make it better. We often don't realize what we actually have within us. There's a nice song. With of Isaac Yekel of Krakow. He had a dream. It was a while ago. That uh, there was a treasure buried under a bridge in Prague famous Prague Bridge, and he kept on having this dream, it was ring, and, you know, the Tainas Chalon wasn't, you know, wasn't really bothering him, but it was really getting to him that, uh, that, this, that why was he having this dream so much? It wasn't a bad dream, it was a treasure. So he decided that he, that he was going to go to Prague, and uh, see if there's Taka treasure there. So, he gets on the train. And a wagon, whatever it was, and he goes over to Prague, and there's a famous mice. So he's standing there, and he's trying to figure out when am I supposed to like start? Oh, I'm gonna just dig around under a, a main thoroughfare, a main bridge in Prague. And he's, he's like surveying the scene. He's walking back and forth. And one day, there's a guard, one of the policemen over there, sees him, and he says, "You've been standing here for days. You're not like collecting money." You're not buying things. You're just hanging around. What are you doing here? You're just you're loitering. So he looks up at this guy and he says, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. He says, you have to give me an excuse, otherwise you have to get out of here. So he says, well, the truth is that I had a dream that there was treasure under this bridge. And maybe I would like to, you know, dig it up. So the, the guard starts laughing at him. And he says, really? You slept all the way to Prague, from wherever you're from, find some treasure in your dream. He says, look, I have dreams too. I'm not schlepping all over the world chasing my dreams. I dreamt that there's this Yid, uh, uh, Isaac Yackel in Krakow, who has his treasure buried under his stove. And you don't see me going to Rav Isaac's house and digging up his stove, do you, huh? Isaac was like, oh, never told him my name. Never told him where I was from. This guy's dreaming about me. He gets in the next train wagon home. And he digs up his oven. And it's got treasure there. Us MS used to get up after Yom Neroim. And he said, Cherva, you don't understand. We don't have to schlep to Prague to find treasures. We don't need Yom Neroyim and Tishrei to find the treasures. But sometimes we need to go there to realize that we have treasures. That our whole winter's mind is an absolute treasure. It's all buried within us and we have to dig down. We have to dig deeper and we have to push ourselves a little bit more in whatever we're doing. And we have to be honest with ourselves and know that if there's something that we could do better, we should do it a little better. And if there's something that we're not doing that we can't be doing, we should push ourselves to do it. It's all there. It's all ready. It's all planted just waiting to grow. We just need to water it a little bit. In this mind of Geshem, 
which is to see all of our dreams Taka come to fruition and make the absolute most of ourselves. <laughs> Each abyss.